Hello everyone, this is Dr. Indrakant Kesing and today we will be discussing a very important topic or I should say a very relevant topic in recent time which is environment, genesis and human health, a tripartite linkage. Before coming to the topic, I would like to give you the brief outline of today's talk. Firstly, we'll talk about concept of health, then we will move on the role of environment in health and infection, and then we'll talk about genesis and how such diseases spread. With the last section, we'll focus on COVID-19 pandemic and its associated concerns. So, the first part, let's start with, are we healthy? What do you think? And what are the parts of those healths? And we'll also discuss the impact of the proper health, right? So, throughout the history, several definitions have been utilized to define health. However, WHO has provided the proper definition. In fact, we all have studied in our NCRT textbook. And according to WHO, health is a condition of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, other than simply absence of sickness and discipline. The, the you know, absence of sickness and weaknesses will only cover the physical aspect and not the other parts. We can observe the practical application of it when we have typical cold, right? We not feel, we, we will not feel, you know, physically weak, but our mental ability to operate normally is also damaged. In this situation, we don't even like to socialize much and we start feeling angry. As a result, a frequent viral infection is affecting our entire health. WHO clarifies its definition in 1986, stating that health is a resource for everyday life, not the goal of living. Health is a positive term that emphasizes both physical or rather i could say emphasize both social and personal resources as well as physical abilities if we look attentively we can see that the revised definition equates health with a resource just like any other natural resource so the issue is is COVID alone to blame for this epidemic? Or does our diminishing resource also play a role? We'll go through it in the next slides. Let us start with physical fitness because it is the first area where COVID attacks. Prior to industrial revolution, fitness was described as the ability to complete uh, the day's task without becoming overly tired or lethargic. However, as a result of technological advancement and lifestyle changes, physical fitness is today seen as measure of body's capacity to perform efficiently and successfully in work and laser activity. Physical fitness is typically attained by correct nutrition, moderate or vigorous physical exercise, adequate rest, and systemic recovery plan. Is it true that we are taking care of our physical health? What do you think? So, the topic of why our physical health is deter deteriorating and how COVID impacted the weak body emerges. When the researcher and physician analyze the data together, 
they discovered that patients with pre-existing medical issues and behaviors such as smoking, bad nutrition, sleep deprivation, alcohol, and so on are the more are more prone to COVID and COVID related mortality. So according to several studies, these bad behavior do not create immediate health problems, but they do weaken our immune, immunity over time. Even if you are not a chain smoker and simply smoke one cigarette a day, we might still induce blood clots. By impeding a smooth flow of blood, this can lead to the formation of plaques in the arteries. Similarly, long-term alcohol abuse in particular has a negative impact on neurological system and interferes with signals between the pituitary glands in the brain and genitals. Consider another example. Fast food has a lot of sugar, preservatives, fats, spices. We are more prone to issues such as diabetes, high cholesterol, um, heart problems, and many others if we consume junk foods on a regular basis. So junk food has also been linked to you know artery hardening and increase in plaque deposits in the body. So what are the unique physical abnormalities that make people more susceptible to COVID? Data scientists, the answer, which we'll explore in the next slide. So according to the finding from a CDA, WHO, and institutional studies, those with underlying medical illnesses, such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, chronic respiratory diseases, and cancer, are at higher risk of serious sickness from COVID-19 since they have a direct influence on our immune system. Corticosteroids are used to treat certain disorders which causes secondary immunodeficiency. Aside from that, the CDC discovered that obesity is linked to COVID-related mortality. There is no doubt that community lockdown, lockdown and quarantines were instituted to control the spread of COVID-19. But these measures also encouraged physical inactivity, increased reliance on processed and canned food, and increased internet screen time. So these are lifestyles illnesses that can be prevented by participating in wellness activities such as healthy eating, enough sleep, meditations, and regular exercise. All of these actions are essential for both avoiding COVID-19 infection and recovering from COVID-19 infections. So physical fitness, for example, may safeguard and develop a person's respiratory and cardiac function endurance, muscle strength, flexibility, and body composition. Okay, so another component of the health is social health. Our capacity to communicate with the uh, with and develop meaningful relationship with others is referred to as social health. It also has something to do with how easily we can adjust a social circumstances. Our social ties influences our mental health, physical health, mortality risk. Sociologists have shown a link between social ties and health consequences throughout the years. Furthermore, recent research published in Lancet have convincingly demonstrated the relationship between poor social health and greater susceptibility of COVID. You know, people who are socially isolated, lack friends or close co-workers, and they feel lonely or unhappy. 
they have poor self esteem or energiousness. When the researcher investigate the origin and effects of isolation, they distinguish between social isolation and loneliness. It is critical to distinguish between social isolation and loneliness in this context since it will add us in determining which factors make our bodies more vulnerable to COVID infection. Okay? So social isolation is defined as an objective lack of social interactions or infrequent social engagement. Loneliness is subjective feelings of isolation. A person can be socially isolated but not feel lonely. A person can also feel lonely when they are surrounded by people. So it is critical to emphasize the social aspects when the biological aspects in these circumstances since the social environment is weakening our body. Loss of loved ones, mental health concerns such as an anxiety, sadness, and uh, poor self-esteem, living in remote location in isolation, and so on. It is worth noting that study led by an epidemiologist at Newcastle University concluded that uh, deficiencies in social relationship are associated with a higher risk of coronary heart disease and stroke. And we have seen the role of poor physical health on COVID susceptibility in the previous slides. According to OECD, from March 2020 onwards, prevalence of an anxiety and depression increased and in some countries, even doubled, you know, according to Dr. Selden Cohen, the more diversified people's social network are, the more different sort of relationship they have, the less likely they are to have cold after being exposed to the virus. Some persons who have been subjected to COVID-19 lockdown procedures are terrified to exit their confinement. Fear of infection can cause an anxiety or dread while returning to work, school, or other outdoor activities. So, what can we do to increase our social well being? Before you can work on improving your social well being, you must first practice self care. Take care of yourself by obtaining adequate sleep, eating a healthy balanced diet, exercising and avoiding coping techniques such as excessive alcohol uses. You're okay. Learn what causes you stress, how to avoid allowing it to dominate you. Physical touch causes the release of hormones and brain chemicals that not only make us feel good but also have a physiologic advantages. According to research, having a diverse social network helps in minimize stress and heart-related risk. These linkages boost our capacity to resist infection. The last component of the health is mental health. According to WHO, mental health is a condition of well-being in which individual understands his or her abilities, can cope with the usual demands of life, can work successfully, and is able to contribute to his or her community. So the WHO emphasizes that Mental health is more than merely the absence of mental disease or impairment. Everyone, regardless of age, gender, income, or ethnicity, is at risk of acquiring a mental health issues. 
a person mental health can be influenced by social and socio economic situations biological variables and lifestyle choices aside from the societal and economical pressures genetic family history can raise the possibility of mental health disorders since specific genes and gene variations put a person at risk according to a study sponsored by nih or other national institute of mental health nimh sorry uh, the presence of a gene linked to mental health issues such as depression or schizophrenia does not ensure the development of the condition similarly person who do not have associated gene or family history of mental disease might nonetheless experience mental health problem stress sadness and anxiety can arise a result of underlying life changing physical health issues such as cancer diabetes and chronic pain furthermore covid 19 physical symptoms such as coughing hypoxia fever combined with adverse effect of indicated medications like corticosteroids cause increased psychological discomfort and worry according to july 2020 kff health tracking polls many adults are reporting a specific negative effect on their mental health and well being such as a uh, difficulty in sleeping approximately 36% have this issue 32% people have reported eating issues increase in alcohol consumption or substance uses approximately 12% and worsening chronic conditions approximately reported 12% as a result of their concern and stress about coronavirus imagine the major stresses that contribute to emotional distress and other unanticipated mental health and psychological repercussions are social isolation and confinement many people may be experiencing increasing levels of alcohol and drug abuse as well as sleeplessness and worry due to coronavirus meanwhile covid-19 can cause neurological and mental side effect such as psychosis agitation and a stroke people who have history of mental neurological or uh, drug use problems are more prone to sars cov2 infections and may have a greater risk of severe results including death so far this part we have learned about three component of the physical social and mental we have also seen how different component affects overall bodily health and how any big components make us vulnerable to illness in the next part we will analyze the impact of environment in illness propagation and how bad management exacerbated the spread okay so yes the next part will talk about the role of environment in the health and infections thank you